come up. Ventricular fibrillation is a life-threatening heart rhythm disturbance. The heart beats fast and erratically, which causes a lack of proper blood flow. Just a few minutes without blood circulation in ventricular fibrillation causes irreversible brain damage. Scientists at the German Center for Cardiovascular Research in Göttingen are working on a method that aims to visualize the causes of ventricular fibrillation in the heart muscle and open the door to new therapeutic options. For more than 100 years, clinicians and basic researchers have collaborated to understand the causes of fibrillation. Our newly developed measurement method allows us to illustrate the turbulent activity inside the heart muscle for the first time and gain fundamental insights into heart arrhythmias. Jan Christoph and his colleagues from the Max Planck Institute for Dynamics and Self-Organization have set out to understand these turbulences in their experiments. We use the latest generation of ultrasound machines to scan the human heart in 3D at ultra-high speed. This process allows us to closely combine electrophysiological processes inside the heart during ventricular fibrillation with structural heart images. Conventional ultrasound records images of the heart. You can see the heart wall and its movement. This time we have correlated the wall movement with the electrical phenomena in the heart. You can see vortex-like rotating waves, electrical waves in the case of ventricular fibrillation. These waves cause rapid contractions during fibrillation. We were able to show that the wall deformations exhibit very similar rotary motions, which can be correlated with the electrical excitation. In addition to circulation diseases and heart attacks, defective nerve impulses in the heart muscle can also cause arrhythmias. In the future, the correlated values would allow physicians to detect the source of the disorder via ultrasound scans. We have used this device for validation purposes in ex vivo experiments where we studied isolated hearts in a water reservoir. We also used high-speed fluorescence mapping and ECG imaging to correlate the electrical excitation in the heart with the mechanical wall deformation. In addition to the electrical phenomena, we were also able to monitor the intracellular calcium in the heart. Intracellular calcium causes the heart wall to contract. We were now able to correlate all three aspects, electrical excitation, intracellular calcium distribution and mechanical wall deformation. We saw that vortex patterns exist in all three modalities and that they strongly correlate. However, this technique can be purely based on ultrasound if it were used in the patient. The new imaging technique will first be used at the University Medical Center Göttingen. Professor Gerd Hasenfuss sees additional applications that can benefit patients with heart disease. The technique we plan to use this technique starting next month since it can be implemented with conventional ultrasound equipment. In terms of cardiac arrhythmias, we also expect new and better treatment options, not just when it comes to ventricular fibrillation, but also with so-called tachycardia cases where there is still regular activity. You can treat these types of arrhythmias by cauterizing the site where they originate during a catheterization procedure. However, it's quite complicated to find this site. The new technique promises an improved localization accuracy for this treatment, the so-called ablation treatment for arrhythmias. Und mit der neuen Technik versprechen wir uns eine wesentlich bessere Lokalisation für diese Therapie, die sogenannte Ablationsbehandlung von Rhythmusstörungen.